Hello, I'm Rodrigo and in this video I'm going to talk about the amazing capabilities of the AI Face Edit tool found in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2023. First, I need to open the photo I want to work on in edit mode. Next, I'll select AI Face Edit from the Enhance menu on the left side of the screen. Ultimate will then load the face data, and within a few seconds, the program will automatically identify the different areas of your subject's face that you can edit through the menu on the left. Edit features such as eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, and even makeup on your subject's face. On the top right, you will see the Edit AI Points option. When you click on it, 72 points will appear. These points are what the AI uses to alter your subject's features. Ultimate does an incredible job at identifying these points right away. But if you ever notice that some features are not being edited correctly, then you can always come back to correct those specific location points. Going back to Edit Phase. For this particular situation, I want the subject's expression to seem a bit more relaxed, a little less serious. Additionally, I'll show you what you can do on each specific slider. So let's get started. As you can see, when you move the sliders to more extreme values, the edits will appear very unnatural. As a result, making small adjustments to the sliders works best. You will see, however, that even a slight change can dramatically alter the face of your subject. For now, I don't want to edit our subject's face width. You can also edit their jawline and jaw length, chin size, change the subject's forehead, and accentuate cheekbones. So I'm just going to make the jawline a little bit lower and the chin and forehead just a little bit higher. As well as slightly emphasize the cheekbones. Each group has a circle button on the top right that allows you to deactivate that group. When you click on it, you will be able to see what changes you have made to that specific group so far. To the left, there is a button for resetting the sliders to their default settings. As for the eyes, you can change the size of your subject's eyes. You can edit a specific eye by clicking on the chain or link button right here. This will allow you to adjust the eye size independently. This also applies to the width and height of the eyes. To go back to my default settings, I'll click the reset button. Also, I might want to slightly enlarge my subject's eyes. I want to make him look a bit more engaged with the camera. I can also change the width of the eyes, the spacing of the eyes, and the direction of the eyes. And I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this very well, but I can apply sharpening inside of our subject's eye by moving the sharpening slider. You can also whiten the inside of the eye and of course, wrinkles. Smoothing out wrinkles on your subjects can be very useful, especially when your client wants you to do so. Again, I don't want to change the sliders too much. That's good. You can also change the subjects crow's feet. So let's see what I've done so far. Very, very slight changes. I'm actually going to reduce the blur I've added to the wrinkles a little bit. You can check the overall progress of your edit by clicking on the Show Previous button, which if you hold, will show you what you've edited up until now. Moving on to the eyebrows. Same situation here, where you can change each eyebrow independently by clicking the link button. Changing the inner length of the eyebrows will help me in this situation relax my subject's expression. I can change the length of the outer eyebrows.
thickness and tapering, which will change the actual shape of the subject's eyebrows. It's pretty incredible that just by changing the shape of the eyebrows, I can see that his expression has become a lot more calm, less concerned and less serious. Next, you can also change the nose, the height of the nose, the width of the nose, tip length of the nose, and actually, you can see here that the slider is only changing the right side of its nose. Perhaps I can fix this by editing the AI points. You can see that this line down the middle of his nose could be slightly shifted to the right. This will probably give me a much better result when I change the nose's tip length slider. Let's see. Ultimate now adjusts the nose tip length much better. I can also add contouring, which will add brightness to the middle of the nose. In this case, I don't really need it since the nose is almost overexposed. Next, I'll go ahead and change the mouth of my subject. Reducing his smile, increasing his smile, Let's give him a little bit more smile. I can also widen teeth, which in this case doesn't apply. Upper lip thickness. And lower lip thickness. Remember, you can see what you've done so far by clicking on the circle button right here. Maybe I'll reduce the smile slightly. And I really like how smooth that edit is changing my subject's expression to a more relaxed feeling. By clicking the Fit Image button, I can see my image in full size. Finally, I can also apply some makeup. I can add lip saturation, change the lips color, apply blush, and I can add some eyeshadow to the top and bottom and change the color of the shadow as well. But for this particular case, I don't need to add makeup. Before I finish my edit, I'm going to save what I've done as a preset. This is incredibly useful when editing multiple shots of your same subject. To finish, I'll go ahead and click Done, and Ultimate will apply the AI face edit effect immediately on my photo. To save my photo, I'll just click File, Save As. The original image and the edited one will be side by side on the film strip below. I will select another photo of the same subject and apply the face edit I just did. Ultimate will recognize the face points and then I just have to click on the presets drop down menu to select the preset I need. Obviously, I can continue to adjust the slider values in the way I please, but having this as a starting point can save me a lot of time. Finally, AI face edit also works in photos with multiple people in them. The software will recognize each face and give you the option to edit their features individually. The AI Face Edit tool is incredibly fun to use, and I hope that you will be able to take advantage of it to its fullest potential. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.